be chatting a little bit about my holiday travel essentials, so things I take with me when I go away. So first I'm going to show you the bag that I'm going to be taking with me on most of my like one week holidays next year, and that is this Ted Baker bag. It is actually hand luggage size, so technically I could take this into the cabin like with me on the plane. So compartments wise you've got this side where I put most of my clothes and it's got this really handy kind of clip that goes over the top just to make sure everything stays in place. And then on the next side we've kind of got this like netted bit. Now I put more clothes in here and sometimes shoes um, and my like toiletries and things like that so it's got a lot of room in here and it's also quite flexible as well now for me this is perfect for a week-long holiday maybe even 10 days I could definitely fit everything I need in here I tend to travel pretty light anyway but for those of you that tend to carry like a bit more with you on your holidays you might want something a bit bigger so that is the bag that I'm going to be taking with me on most of my holidays bar the Peru one I probably won't be taking that guy to Peru he might get ruined so now I'm going to have a chat with you about all of the other stuff that I take with me, starting with toiletries. So for me, when it comes to toiletries and travelling, it's all about the miniatures. I really love these, they're so unbelievably cute and small. This one is a simple kind to skin moisturising facial wash, which I bought probably last year for my Portugal holiday. Travel miniatures are the way forward, I think. I definitely recommend them. They take up such little room, you can use them on a couple of holidays, and they're cheap. Now for my shampoo and my conditioner and my moisturiser and things like that, I tend to get these travel bottles. Now I've actually still got some product in these because I don't really like throwing away products. So these are really handy just to decant your existing stuff into. And again, they are 100, oh no, they're 50ml bottles, so they're still under the 100ml limit that you have at the airport. I have a special bag that I use when I go on holiday to put all of my toiletries in, and that is this Ted Baker bag. Now I used to use this as a makeup bag, but it's a little bit too big. So I now use this as my toiletries bag just because it's a great size, perfect for holiday. And also I like the fact that it's a bit see-through so I can see actually what's in here. I love the pattern on the outside, I think it's really, really cute. And yeah, so it's also from Ted Baker. I didn't buy it because it was Ted Baker or because I've got a Ted Baker carry-on case. I just really, really loved it. So I put all of my toiletries in here and I find that this fits everything perfectly. Makeup wise, I tend to travel really super light, so I just take my day to day makeup bag, which you guys have probably seen. I don't really tend to take any more than this because when I'm away, I try and not wear too much makeup. I certainly don't wear any makeup on the plane just because my face tends to get pretty clogged up anyway and I don't want to add to that. So, this is again a Ted Baker bag. I clearly have a thing for Ted Baker bags. I didn't even buy these things at the same time, so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So when it comes to my skincare when I go on holiday, I still try to keep up the same daily routine as I do over here. So I always cleanse, I always tone, and I always moisturise. Now in addition to that, I also tend to bring with me a face mask. Now the main reason for that is when I'm on a plane, my skin goes crazy and it's horrible. It breaks out, it goes dry, and it's just grim. So the one mask that I find saves me from that horrible post-plane skin is the Soap and Glory No Clogs Allowed face mask. I find aeroplane aircon just sucks the life out of my skin and it makes it look vile. So yeah, I tend to bring a face mask just to make sure that my skin can get a little bit of TLC after it's been on the plane. Another two travel essentials for me have to be hand cream and lip seal. Like, my lips get so dry on the plane, it's ridiculous and I find it so uncomfortable. So Carmex is my go-to lip seal, it just, I find it makes my my lips, like if they're really chapped, I just put one lot of this on and they're fixed. And I find other lip salves I have to actually really apply like five or six times to get rid of the dry lips. So Carmex is definitely my lip seal of choice and it also has SPF 15. Now the hand cream I'm using at the moment is the E45 Nourish and Restore. So this is probably the one I would take with me on holiday. Again, it's 50 mil, so it's okay for you to, it's okay. It is okay for you to put in your hand luggage. It's a really good hand cream to be fair. It's really fast absorbing like it said in the front and it's super non-greasy which is good because I hate having greasy mitts. 
So in flight wise, I will always bring with me a book. And at the moment I am reading this one by Lena Dunham and it is not that kind of girl. Now I know this is quite an old book. I'm sure all of you guys have already read it and are already raving about it, but it takes me quite a while to get through books because I also watch quite a lot of Netflix series. So this is a lovely book, really simple and easy to read. Like it's not too intense. You can just dive in and dive out of it. There's not like an ongoing story. So you're not gonna forget if you haven't read it for a while. Now I also tend to bring a journal with me as well, just in case there's anything I want to write about. Because I have my YouTube channel and my blog, it's nice to make notes of things that I see, jot down stuff that I'm going to want to add to my blog or talk about on my YouTube channel. But also it's quite nice to have a little like holiday diary, so if you want to go away and document what you've done, you could have a little notebook. Now there is absolutely no way I could go on holiday without taking my laptop, and I have a MacBook Pro. Um, standard MacBook, nothing too exciting, I'm sure you guys have all seen these in the shops or have them yourself, oh my god I just totally hit that on the side. So to keep my laptop safe I have this really sweet little bag that I got from Amazon a few months ago. It's great for this because it's not too bulky and I can still fit it in my bag, like my travel bag, it's not going to take up too much room. It also has some handles here so I can carry my laptop around if I want to carry it onto the plane or carry it around if I'm going to be doing some stuff in town and I need to go into a cafe and write some stuff up. You can also push these handles down into the, like, the flaps here. So it ends up just being a case if you kind of see what I mean. So all round I think this is a pretty good bag and it only cost me like, I think it was about 10, 15 pounds, maybe not even that. So really great, really good at keeping my laptop safe and fab for travelling. So finally I just wanted to touch briefly on what I wear when I go on the plane and generally when I'm travelling. I like to be comfortable, I am not a glamorous traveller, there is no massive hats and wedges and skinny jeans and crop tops, that is just not the kind of thing that I want to wear on a plane. I get anxious on planes, I get anxious travelling, I want to be comfortable. So I always wear these trousers, they're just loose and light and not too restrictive. These are from Primark, but I'm pretty sure you can get some similar ones all over. Like, loads of shops do them, but Primark are good for this kind of thing because they're pretty cheap. And means I'm not spending loads of money on comfortable clothes that I'm only going to really be wearing when I go on holiday. Top-wise, just a t-shirt, a white t-shirt, a t-shirt like this. Just something light and comfortable. And like I said before, I tend not to wear any makeup because... I find that if I put makeup on before I get on the plane and then I get off, it's just dried and patchy and horrible, so it's just not a good look for me. I tend to just go bare face, put loads of moisturiser on, just to make sure I can keep the moisture in my face, and then I'm happy flying! So that's it for this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped any of you that are going on holiday soon. If you are going away in the next couple of months or just generally this year, I hope you have an amazing time. Make sure you give me a follow on Instagram and also Twitter, my Instagram is Sophie underscore Victoria, my Twitter is at Hello Dizzy Lizzie. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys really soon. See you later, bye!